What's up guys, it is the Radman, and welcome to this random computer video, and I have no idea what it's going to be about, because it is a pre-recorded message, so I hope you guys enjoy no matter what kind of video it is. What's up guys, and welcome to my tutorial on how to connect an Xbox controller to a PC. So now all you need is a piece of hardware and some software, and you're good to go. So first, I'll show you the hardware that you need. It's just a simple Microsoft wireless gaming receiver. You can pick up a Walmart, Amazon, Newegg, wherever possible, basically, because there's actually several different models. This is um, the exact model I have, except mine is black. But there's like different ones from different companies that you can get for cheaper. But then again, I'd rather go with the pure Microsoft one. So you can tell if it's a real Microsoft, like the Microsoft ones, because it's the shape. And also right here, this sorry, it's all stupid and zoomed in. But right here, you can see on my around my cursor, that black bar, it lights up green. And then this button in the middle, you just press it when you um are gonna sync a controller, and you just do a standard sync between the controller and the PC, like you press it until the you press the controller sync until the ring starts spinning they press it and then they'll both flash so on and so forth and then it's sync next it which, this part is actually also this these two parts are the most important part to get set up you need a program or I'm not sure if there's anyone that's like it but you need a program called X pattern this allows you to customize the controls for your Xbox controller so you can do whatever you want with them and I will show you how to set that up right now but first of all you can see like you'll know it's expat because they'll have the really cheesy like 8-bit controller that has smiley face expat or pretty easy to remember okay so when you open expat you get a program once you go through the start start continue blah 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 you get a program that looks exactly like this so once you get this you're going to click here click new you'll see this purple screen comes up I mean, it can be different colors I'm not really sure but the normally when you download the program it'll come with a bunch of game control profiles so you go what you do is you go down to open right here and I've already went through it a few times but it's called for me it's called controller images and there's like tons of different pictures of different controllers that there are Guitar Hero, really old ones I've never seen, custom special ones, GameStop, Xbox 360s, all sorts of different things. So you don't have to choose your exact controller, but in my opinion, it makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to go with this. You just click on it, and then once you are here, this is where you start assigning the um, buttons and sticks to the actual program. So what you do is you go down here and click on sticks click on enable and on this one you would take your left um, stick on your controller and pull it to the left and then up and voila that's all you do then you take this and drag it right over you don't have to but obviously you would so that way it's easier to organize your um like settings and stuff because you have to key bind everything which is kind of a pain to ask but it works out well when you get all set up and the same thing with right um, stick left up drag it over and then when you go to the d-pad enable up down left right voila you drag this over that like so and then you go to buttons and then what you there's what you do is you do your standard like a b x y or square circle triangle X and then your bumpers. So what I would do first is I press A. You see that this box came up right there. That one that's flashing green. That should hopefully give you seizure. No, not really. <laughs> and then you take this and drag it over A. Simple enough. And then B X Y. And then your bumpers, left bumper, just like set it right there, and right bumper, 
and then you just put these there, okay? Then triggers enabled hold left trigger law hold right trigger easy enough those go in the corner so now what you would do is you'd go through your games and set up everything so you'd close this here and you can see that everything when you close that image and I will be right back because I'm just one on. right guys so I'm back that's just my little neighbor but these are the final steps to um finishing your X pad or setup. So basically what you do is you get a screen like this. It all you do is like for example to move forward, you'd click on here and then it would be whatever your keyboard binding would be. So like WSD forward would be W. You can see it says W A S D Willa. So forward, left, right, down. And then for example, I'll change the um yes. I'll change the right stick to what the mouse would be. So watch this. Watch the mouse. When I push the um right stick around, it moves whatever way I'm pressing it. See? You could also see that the arrows turn green for whatever way is being pushed. And then the left ones don't do anything. So after you do this, all you do is like have your game in um, a window mode. Have this off to the side. Sorry, I'm like burping. And then you just match up your key bindings. It's really simple, except I would not recommend in most cases having two keys as a single um, like button. For example, if you press A, I wouldn't have it as a like, jump in action because if you're um, doing an action, you would most likely also jump. And real quickly, I'm going to show you how to assign two keys, but I, then again, I wouldn't recommend it. So, like, space bar for example then you click on it again then you click on advanced and wait wait uh see there's okay I, i'm getting it see i'm keeping your team okay here you go i just didn't see this for some so when you click on the advanced option, you get the screen. All you do is click C, select slot two, and slot one selected, just select slot two, okay? And then you press, for example, B. See, it says space and B. So if you press B or space, it will select that. Or, or like, it categorizes either of them. For example, there you go. So, also, you won't actually have to do this with a lot of games that are programmed for both Xbox and PC. Because, for example, if you play um, Assassin's Creed 3 on PC, but you want to use the Xbox controller, it actually has presets for the Xbox controller controls. So that way, like, A can act as jump and all that without screwing anything up. But you'd use this for example for something like StarCraft 2 where you it's completely dedicated to PC and there's no Xbox version and there's therefore no Xbox control setup, then that's when you'd use this. So I hope you like my tutorial. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And if I get more subs, I will be able to make more videos for you. And that's pretty much how it ends up. So hope you enjoyed it. See ya. Hey guys, I'm back with one more quick thing I forgot to tell you. How to save a profile. So you can see here, I have different profiles. The law. Okay. So all you do is click here. And then I'm just going to put two. Like, just select wherever you want. Put the file, whatever, on desktop, whatever. I'm just putting it two here. So I know which one's every one. Press save. Okay. 
now you can exit and then this is the the thing is it says that but what this that's actually not where you open it from but that's where you get the file from so what you do is you open X pattern and then what you do here is you click open and here's my second one so I would click on that and it would open everything that was saved to that file easy enough to understand right that's all you do so that's how to save your profiles and again remember to like comment subscribe see ya see ya